Canyon School District is reviewing the attendance boundaries for four Midville area elementary schools. Midville has grown and changed a lot since the inception of the district in 2009, and this will be the first boundary review for this area. In any school district, school age populations naturally ebb and flow as families relocate, neighborhoods change, and new housing is developed. This can create imbalances in student enrollment across schools. Boundary studies are opportunities to look at issues of over or under enrollment at schools as communities change and grow and to explore solutions for the following. The city of Midvale is growing as new housing is built, including the Jordan Bluffs development west of I-15. Currently, this development falls within Midvale Elementary School's boundaries. As the development takes shape over the next four to five years, projections are that it could increase Midvale Elementary's enrollment by 150 to 200 students. As stewards of the community's investment in our schools, it's important that we maximize the use of our school buildings. How much room does Midville Elementary have to grow? Or is there capacity in neighboring schools? These are important questions because in Utah, school funding is distributed on a per-pupil basis. Balanced enrollments translate to balanced funding, class sizes, and learning and enrichment opportunities. In redrawing boundaries, we also strive to keep neighborhoods together and align school boundaries with natural geographic features. We also pay attention to major roadways and traffic flows with an eye toward student safety and traveling to and from school. In November 2021, Canyon School District's Long Range Planning Committee proposed a boundary study for the Midvale area, marking the beginning of a sustained effort to gather community feedback. Three boundary change ideas have been proposed as a starting point to jumpstart the public input process. Under the first option, the Jordan Bluffs development would stay within Midvale Elementary School's boundaries. Some of the northernmost neighborhoods served by Midvale would shift to East Midvale. Meanwhile, some of East Midvale's southernmost neighborhoods would shift to Midvale. In addition to east space constraints at Copperview, Mid Valley would inherit some of Copperview's service area. The second option is the same as option number one, except Midvale Elementary would retain its northernmost neighborhoods. The third option matches the second option, except a smaller portion of East Midvale's service area would transfer to Midvale. What will the public input process look like? As a first step, we'll be hosting community meetings at each of our four Midvale area elementary schools. Canyon's administrators also will be meeting to debrief with the school's school community councils, local municipal leaders, and other stakeholders. To guide the discussion at these meetings, we've also prepared a website with a thorough explanation of the three boundary change ideas currently under review, along with answers to frequently asked questions. We invite you to take a few minutes to review each proposal and provide us with your feedback. You can find detailed information on this website. After reviewing the proposals, you can provide feedback in three ways. In person at one of our community meetings, online via our survey tool, or by sending your comments and questions to communications at canyonsdistrict.org. We will use this feedback to make any needed adjustments to the scenarios before bringing them back to the Board of Education for further consideration. Any boundary changes that materialize and are approved wouldn't take effect until the start of the 2023-2024 school year. The Midville community is a central part of this process and we look forward to hearing from you.